okay today again we'll be starting about uh, some questions regarding the neat pg and also the previous ai pg okay we'll be discussing the mcqs today so we'll start off with some mcqs and then go on explaining the topics which are covered in the mcqs now spontaneous regression is seen in in which of the following you see a spontaneous regression port wine hemangioma strawberry hemangioma cavernous hemangioma arterial angioma so which is the structure where you see a spontaneous regression normally we call a port wine stain strawberry hemangioma cavernous hemangioma or an arterial angioma now do you have any idea about what are these hemangiomas we have two types of hemangiomas hemangiomas can be classified as capillary hemangiomas and cavernous hemangiomas now just briefly revision about the hemangiomas there are two types of hemangiomas a capillary hemangioma and a cavernous hemangioma again in capillary hemangioma we have three common varieties that is a stalk bite stalk bite port wine stain we have three things a stalk bite a port wine stain i'll just show you some of the pictures here and a strawberry hemangioma right now this is a salmon patch or a stork bite i think you have seen in the picture a stork bite also called as a salmon patch okay this is a stork bite now this stork bite occurs because of the persistence of fetal dermal circulation see in the normal fetus there will be a part of dermal circulation where the gaseous exchanges occur through the skin so this is a persistent fetal dermal circulation where you will have the gaseous exchange through the skin in the fetus and this is that persistent dermal circulation and this again most spontaneously regresses so there is no problem with this salmon patch also called as the stork bite it completely regresses so a wait a wait and watch approach is the common thing that is required for this so no specific treatment is required it's the only a persistent fetal dermal circulation which spontaneously regresses now this is a strawberry hemangioma the most common type of hemangioma is the strawberry hemangioma it is a true capillary hemangioma strawberry or the true capillary hemangioma this is the most common thing and it also slowly disappears can disappear sometimes will stay but majority of times more than 70 to 80% it slowly disappears so this is called as a strawberry hemangioma or the true hemangioma the most common hemangioma now coming to the port wine stain stain yeah stain it will not spontaneously regress daan yahan pe acche nahi hai you will not have a good stain okay so this is the port wine stain why this port wine stain occurs this port wine stain occurs because of the defective maturation of the sympathetic innervation see normally the skin will be having some amount of sympathetic innervation right so where the sympathetic activation causes vasoconstriction parasympathetic activity causes vasodilation so the sympathetic activity or the sympathetic innervation of the skin is defective so what happens there will be no vasoconstriction the vasoconstriction of the blood vessels is lost and there will be a small vasodilation of the dermal skin so because of this persistent vasodilation the stain remains there and it will not spontaneously regress so which of the following spontaneously regresses so the thing that spontaneously regresses salmon patch or stalk bite yes it spontaneously regresses strawberry hemangioma most commonly spontaneously regress port wine stain persists throughout life never regresses so that is the important thing which you have to remember that is a port wine stain will not spontaneously regress the salmon patch or the stalk bite they will regress okay now the treatment for this hemangiomas most commonly used is pulse dye laser treatment laser treatment is the most commonly used and it is a pulse dye where we give in fractions 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 the laser treatment or you can do a surgical excision sclerotherapy cryotherapy these are the commonly used treatments now 
the second type of hemangioma is a cavernous hemangioma also called as a giant hemangiomas most commonly seen with as av fistulas arteriovenous fistulas large shunting of the blood occurs that will result in a congestive heart failure okay so you can see a giant hemangioma of the tongue here the cavernous hemangioma of the tongue most commonly a arteriovenous malformations are seen now so spontaneous regression is seen with portwein strain no it will not regress strawberry hemangioma can regress cavernous hemangioma no and arterial angiomas or arterial hemangiomas they never regress so the thing that regresses is the strawberry hemangioma but most commonly salman patch completely regresses strawberry hemangioma the second possibility now the next question following tumor may regress spontaneously except so you know what the list of the tumors that spontaneously regresses right of which which of the following does not spontaneously regress retinoblastoma malignant melanoma osteosarcoma choriocarcinoma the standard mcq which you have to answer retinoblastoma malignant melanoma choriocarcinoma all can spontaneously regress except for osteosarcoma osteosarcoma normally will not regress now how to treat this osteosarcoma the treatment for osteosarcoma treatment for osteosarcoma most commonly is surgery we have to do a bone resection plus a bone grafting bone grafting is commonly to be done for an osteosarcoma now treatment of choice for wartens tumor what is this wartens tumor wartens tumor i think you all know what is the wartens tumor the common tumor of the parotid the most common tumor is pleomorphic adenoma the second most common tumor is the wartens tumor most commonly seen associated also called as the lymphoadenoma adenolymphomatosum most commonly seen of the parotid in the lower parts and most common important association is smoking and radiation exposure associated with smoking and radiation exposure very very important point again wartens tumor remember majority of the salivary gland tumors most commonly occur in women wartens tumor most commonly occurs in men and who are having an history of smoking and radiation exposure now and one more important one more important point regarding this wartens tumor is the hot spots never forget the hot spot of the salivary gland on technetium 99 protected scan is typical of wartens tumor right now how to treat this wartens tumor the treatment for wartens tumor is superficial parotidectomy majority of times it involves the superficial lobe of this parotid so a superficial parotidectomy is the treatment of choice for wartens tumor right